the heat is stifling in Los Angeles. They're having a heat wave out west. Uh, that it's around 90 outside the stadium. He said, add another 10 degrees inside. It's an open air, you know, multi-billion dollar facility. At the Super Bowl, it was 70 degrees and perfect that night uh, in February. This is a different scenario altogether, Adam, uh, going into this game tonight. I don't know if you knew that it was that hot out there. It could be a factor, and certainly the Bills are on a different body clock than the Rams and the Super Bowl champs and the history of this game in the NFL is, you know, the champs usually come out and, and win yeah. these games. Uh, how do you start by analyzing this one for us? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. A couple of things, you, you and I were talking earlier this week, I'm going to add to some stuff that I, I forgot that I'd reported uh, on the Bills uh, in months ago, which actually is a factor in this game, but I'll explain why. But yeah, if you just look at history, the team that won the Super Bowl the year before, their first game of the season next year, they're 45, 10, and 1. So obviously, uh, the Rams were playing at home, and they're they're 3 0 at home under McVay in, in, in uh, openers. And McVay is, by the way, 5 0 in, in openers since he became the head coach in 2017. So a lot on history pointing to the Rams. There's no question about it. And the Bills, and you and I talked about your Davis White, the, the, their top corner, one of the top five corners of the National Football League. He's not playing, he won't be available for the, at least for the first four games as he comes back from his ACL injury from last November on Thanksgiving. So that is yet another advantage here. I, I don't know for the life of me uh, why the Bills would be favored on the road here at two and a half. That, that to me is a misaligned number here. Yes, the Bills are very good. But what, what they did, Pharrell, to counteract what happened against them in the playoffs when the Chiefs ran rampant over them uh, offensively, is they brought in a former Ram, Von Miller, on defense. And we'll, we'll get into that, of course. But uh, the big injury is obviously Tredavious White. Uh, we told you uh, earlier this week that Van Jefferson wouldn't play. Uh, that's what I was told. I was, I'm also told that Jefferson, barring a setback, should be available by the end of the month. They knew when Jefferson, the Rams' third receiver, they knew when he had the surgery he was not going to be available week one. The, the question was, would he be back by the end of the month? And they do believe, barring a setback, he will. But the big one is White. There's no question about it. And Sean McVay, I know, I, I, I've studied this, this head coach and this play caller. He's going to take advantage of that matchup. 